I actually discovered something about myself this year over the holidays that I will fight an eight-year-old for pudding. <laughs> I'll fight him. There was one pudding cup left at our Christmas Eve event. This eight-year-old doesn't have a job. I have a job. So we wrestled. I won. I love pudding. It is good. It's delicious. And what's great about pudding is that the spoon goes perfectly with the pudding cup because it's scooping the deliciousness into your mouth. You know what I mean? But there's a point when that spoon stops doing its job and there's still pudding in the cup. Do you know what I'm saying? And you're sc you'll scrape for days. You still won't get it out. That's when you have to put the spoon down, glance around to check who's watching, and go in with your tongue. <laughs> On occasion, I'll cut that crap open and lick it. I'll get it done. I'll take what's mine. I fought for it. It's delicious. My uh, mother came to visit, and she want, one night she wanted to make it a blockbuster night, which was totally fine with me. And we decided that we were going to rent History of Violence, which is a couple years old, but neither of us have seen it, so we're like, we'll watch it. If you're not familiar, History of Violence has Maria Bello and Viggo Mortensen. Can't say his name, so I'm just going to let it go. It's going to be wrong the entire time. Um, but we're watching it, and the scene comes out where Maria Bella's wearing like a cheerleading uniform. She's an adult woman wearing a cheerleading. She hasn't coached thus far in the movie, so there's no reason for it. So uh, she flashes Viggo Mortensen, and there's nothing covering her lady. <laughs> and I think to myself, this is going to be bad. Like an explicit sex scene's about to take place. I just want to be clear, my mother and I have made a special effort to act as if sex doesn't exist. I don't even know if that chick has a Do you know what I mean? Like, we don't talk about it. So, of course, Viggo Mortensen goes up to her, flips her into a 6'9", right in front of me and my mom, right on the, right on the thing there. So at this point, it's, I'm starting to sweat a little bit because it's getting really uncomfortable. We're not making eye contact. And neither of us are watching the movie at this point. And I'm thinking, should I go to the bathroom or is it obvious I just want to get the hell out of here? And then she's like, this kettle corn is sweet. Like we're just, we're making anything up to not make it awkward. So finally the scene changes and she's looking at me and you know when someone looks at you and you know they're going to say something? And I'm like, don't say anything. Like we just got through this. We can just act like this never happened. And all of a sudden, she's like, she had a lot of hair down there. I'm like, what are you doing? 